Translation O ye who believe, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you may become righteous. The month of Ramadan is that in which the Quran was sent down as a guidance for mankind, with clear proofs of guidance and discrimination. And when my servant asks thee about me, say, I am near. I answer the prayer of the supplicant when he prays to me. In these verses, God Almighty has described the obligation of fasting, its importance, the duties, uh, the duties of the believers with regards to this month and the ways in which one's prayer can be accepted. Allah says that in the in Ramadan I come closer to my person and imprison the shaitan. On one occasion the Holy Prophet وسلم, said, If you knew the excellence of Ramadan, in which ways and how much God Almighty manifests his mercy, you would have wished that Ramadan were extended to the entire year so that you can gather the blessing of Allah the Exalted all year long. Thus, God Almighty has prescribed fasting for our own benefit. We can derive spiritual as well as physical benefit from fasting. God Almighty has said in these verses that fasting has been prescribed for every believer and every Muslim to remain hungry from morning until evening is not considered a fast. The promised Messiah has stated that through the practice of fasting, God Almighty desire for a person to decrease one form of nourishment and increase in another form of sustenance. Fasting has been prescribed so that one may become righteous. However, now the question is over here, what is righteousness? It is to abstain from spiritual and moral weaknesses. The, ob the observing of the fast should develop a standard of righteousness within a person through the means of which one is then able to protect themselves from all form of spiritual and moral weaknesses. Otherwise, it is a mean meaningless fast. The Promised Messiah stated that in order to become righteous, it is necessary for a person to, uh, to give up all kinds of evil deeds, such as stealing, adultery, and hypocrisy, and, and he should adopt small virtues, such as uh, like treating people with joy and compassion, showing true loyalty to God Almighty. The, uh, that is like fulfilling the rights of Allah Ta'ala and the rights of His humanity, which is called Hakukullah and Hakukul Ibad. Hazrat Abu Huraira narrates that the Holy Prophet وسلم, stated that God Almighty says that every deed of a person is for his own sake, except for observing fast. In fact, the fast is observed for my sake. Similarly, the Holy Prophet وسلم, also stated that fasts are a shield and if any one of you is, is observing a fast, he should not utter anything which is indecent and foul. If someone abuses or fight with a fasting person, he should say in reply that I am fasting. Then in the following verse, God Almighty, the second verse which I have recited, God Almighty states, we cause the Quran to descend in this month, which, uh, which is a meaning means of guidance for you and contains within itself clear and 
emulating sign. Thus, the Holy Quran and the month of Ramadan have a special connection. Therefore, alongside fasting, one ought to ponder over the Quran and strive to act according to its teaching so that one can drive true blessing from the fast during Ramadan. Then in the following verse, God Almighty states, we cause the Quran to descend in this month, which is a means of guidance for you. Thus the Holy Quran and the month of Ramadan have a special connection. We should try to read it in the same month along with fasting, meditate on it, find its command and follow them so that by following the commands of Allah Ta'ala, we can get real benefit from fasting in Ramadan. Not everyone can understand the deep meaning of the Holy Quran. Therefore, righteousness is very important for understanding the deep meaning of the Holy Quran. The Promised Messiah states that Quran is the book of God and its knowledge is in this is in the hands of God and Taqwa is a ladder. If you adapt Taqwa, you will also gain the understanding of Quranic knowledge. One person asked Promised Messiah والسلام, that how to read Holy Quran. The Promised Messiah says when you when you recite when reciting the Holy Quran when someone come comes across a portion in which uh, the, there's a mention of the mercy of God Almighty, then at that moment one ought to seek mercy from God Almighty. And when one recites a portion in which the Quran refers to punishment of a particular people, at that point one ought to seek protection from God Almighty through repentance and seeking his forgiveness. One should ponder and reflect over the Holy Quran and act according to its teaching. Thus, this is the manner in which the Holy Quran ought to be read. Then in the third verse which I, which I have recited, God Almighty states, In the month of Ramadan, my servants increase their endeavor and search for me. Thus, I am near, and that I listen to their supplication. If they seek for me with sincerity, I accept their prayer. However, in order, in order for you to have your prayer accepted, you must first act on my commands. God Almighty states that one ought to act on his commands and for one to increase in their belief in him. Hazuri Anwar bin Asil Aziz said that some people complain that we prayed a lot, but Allah Almighty did not listen. Hazrat so said, if we do not listen to the guidance of Allah, we do not act on it, we do not seek love for Allah, we do not become his true servant, how can we complain that Allah Almighty did not listen to our prayer? So first, we have to fix ourselves. At the end, so in these days, we should especially pray for the betterment of our, uh, for our condition. Allah Almighty, who is already very close to his servant, has come even closer in these days. We must bow before Allah Almighty in our duty of worship and in our nawafil. The Holy Prophet stated that the first 10 days of this month are to attain God Almighty mercy. The middle 10 days are to seek his forgiveness. And the last 10 days, one seeks to be saved from hellfire. Jazakallah. Subhanallah. 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 Allahumma salli ala wa alaikum.